we, we're talking government, we're talking education across the board, but in particular the government, we are rocking with Representative Zach Hawkins of Zach. the Democrat, NC Democratic Party, and this guy has, has achieved so many things his own right, man. He's first African American, man, ready to to be involved. First African American vice president of the Young Democrats of North Carolina, one of the founding uh, uh, chair of, of that particular organization. Second Af- uh, African American to to serve as a uh, first vice chair of the NC Democratic Party, uh, f- first black male, by the way. He's now uh, proud to be a member of the NC House of Representative, uh, serving the 31st district here uh, in Durham, man. HBCU representing big time, double time, by the way. <laughs> ECSU, we're talking about Elizabeth City State University, uh, had uh, had a, a degree in biology. That's, oh. that's pretty significant. Then we only got his master's uh, in biology uh, at North Carolina Central. So he doubled up, came back as, as do, it, do it again. HBCU. I <laughs> uh, mean, he, he, he's a friend of the show. I've known this guy for a long time. He's doing a lot of great work, and we're happy to have him as part of the 2019 class. Welcome to the sports shop. Representative Zach Hawkins, what's up, man? How you hey, doing? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Good morning. Good How you morning. Doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. Oh, doing man. well. Well, yeah. well, you know, it's funny. Uh, you um, recently became uh, 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 representative That's here right. for the state, and talk about that whole process of getting involved and making it happen because it had to be a, a challenging. I'll put it that way. Yeah, no, it was challenging. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, that we met, you know, almost yeah. 15 years yes, ago. Yes, exactly. And exactly. I had, I was just getting involved yeah. in and. Um, I was working on, uh, you know, races. I uh, had got, really gotten involved in the Democratic Party. Um, started working as a field director for David Price for Congress. Mm, just right. kept showing up. Yep, yep. Just kept. I was that person that was <laughs> registering voters. Dynasty Five used to let me in there. Yeah, events, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, registering voters, <laughs> but you know, getting in, you know, getting in free to those events. Um, <laughs> you know, and just using every opportunity I could to show people that uh, this mattered, and really what helped. Uh, that go along is after I was president of Young Democrats, this guy from Illinois decided to run for president. Mm. And that's what really made really? people oh, wow. uh, understand yes. that um, politics is something that's relatable, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and we see what, you know, he and that same person just came to a game <laughs> yeah. that happened the other night. And yeah, I forgot yeah. to mention, yeah. 88 to 72 oh, wow. is a really significant <laughs> score. <laughs> Um, really? in, the, in the state of North Carolina, I, I, really just in case people uh, have not, <laughs> wow. you know, yeah, paid back. attention you, to you that. that uh, you know, you, you know, here's the beauty of this: <laughs> the fact, the fact, the fact that we haven't actually, you know, printed the actual award yet. <laughs> 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 it's, it's not a bad thing today. <laughs> so it's not a bad thing. So this could end up being no, just no, a good interview. Man, just you, a good interview. You, 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 you doing, doing just eight eight seven two is a good number. Let me tell you. Yeah. So, so after after he got elected, yeah. um, you know, I was head of the Young Democrats in North Carolina. And it was uh we had just founded the minority caucus and so it was yeah. it was a slow march to to get here. Um, because in Durham, we mm-hmm. have legendary representation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, the person that I'm taking over for, the the uh, the great uh, Representative Mickey Mishaw, yes. the longest-serving member of the North Carolina yes. House of Representatives. Wow. That's, um, a tough, that's a tough ad to follow, by the way. You know, you know. And so, <laughs> you got your uh, work cut out for you. Yeah, no, seriously. And so, you know, uh, I was – and people would say, well, why does it take you so long? I said, well, look who was in front of me, <laughs> you know. And yes. then you had Larry Hall. Then oh, you yes. had Paul yes. Luke. Yes. Then you had Jeannie Luke, you yes. know. Yes. Yes. So it wasn't like it was, you know, all-stars <laughs> were in front of you. Yes, right. And you were a rookie just <laughs> waiting your turn. Um, and so – but it did give me a lot of opportunity to find those – ways to grow in other ways yeah. like with the young dems with the democratic party um moving up and showing my skill set so that when it was my time i was ready to serve and so um i filed and was um uh you know in durham you it seems like one week in durham and politics is worth a month everywhere else <laughs> yeah. because we are they yeah. keep moving. Um, it's this it's the city it's, it's, it's the southern equivalent of chicago no you're right about people that. people take politics in public service and um, and grassroots activism sure. very very seriously and so it was a it was a gauntlet I had two opponents um uh, a libertarian and a Republican um, but most importantly I think uh, that I had to get out here and reintroduce myself right mm-hmm. but a lot of folks knew me but as Durham has grown yes a lot of people didn't You're right a lot of people knew that they endorsed me they know Mickey endorsed me but you had to get out here and do it for yourself this time mm. and so I ran it just like the other person was the president of the United States on the other end gotcha and um and it has been an incredible ride on the other side 
uh, getting a chance to transition and make it all work, right? Because if for anybody, anybody that's in public service, you have to understand you got to balance family, you got to balance work, yes, you got to balance campaign, you got to right. balance all these calendars, yeah. And um, but it's been really good because this is where my heart is. This is what I'm supposed to do. Mm. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention on the on that is mm-hmm. when I said the Young Democrats, I was also a teacher. Um, oh really? I decided I taught at Southern Durham High School biology. I didn't know, um, I earth, didn't know earth, that. Earth and how environmental you, science. How, how long, three years. I didn't know that. Yep. And um, that's and major. So when I, yep. And so uh, when I was when that when I was there, that's when it really started to make sense because all of the things that we said that we wanted to do for kids, yes. I was seeing that we didn't do for, for them. Wow. Right. Wow. Um, you know, this the money became an issue. It was my first time seeing teachers work from seven to three tutor after school and then go serve burgers and beers because wow. they had to make mm-hmm. ends meet after wow. five o'clock. I mm-hmm. said, this is, there's that's, no way. That's a long day too. That's right? a long day. Yeah, and exactly. then you expect them to get up and do it again. Right. And so all the things okay. that teacher pay and per pupil spending, all those things really started to make a difference. I had kids in my classroom that um, were from Northeast Central Dorm, you know, really right. sort of uh, less desirable you know, parts of town. Sure. But they were incredibly smart. And they mm-hmm. just needed all the resources that we could give them so they can make a better life. Wow. And so it, it really, after that, I I just knew that this was the path. And I just had to sort of continue to grind to get there. Oh, man. Wow. Outstanding. That's, that's good stuff. We're talking with Zach Hawkins, representative for the state of North Carolina. And we're talking about um, newly elected representative. Newly elected. Newly elected rec- representative. I'm still a rookie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not a bad thing. So I know this is new. I know you. So... Running, being around um, politics, being in the in the community for as long as you've been, being a teacher. So outside looking in, before you got there, you actually had to get an opportunity to sit down there sure. and, and be able to sure. participate in the process. Yeah. Is there anything that you could probably say in this in this early stage? Yeah. That I thought I knew exactly what this was about, but boy, when I sit here in this seat that day, I realized, oh, this is probably not what I thought it was, and. This is going to be a little bit more work than than it, than it appears yeah, on the outside yeah. looking in. The the unpredictability of mm-hmm. the way that the general assembly works yeah. is something that you you just don't know unless you're there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. You don't. Sometimes you don't know if you're going to have a vote or not. Right. Mm-hmm. You don't know when committee meetings are going to start. You don't know what committees. It took us a while to know what committees we were going to be on. <laughs> wow. Um. It was so. It's it's one of those things to sort of wait and see because you're not on my side of the aisle. Mm-hmm. I'm not in the majority. Right. So they can do what the hell they want to do. Excuse <laughs> exactly. my language. Just no, no, no. You can say that. Yeah. yeah but they that, they yeah. can do what they want to do. Yeah. Right. And um and we sort of just have to, you know, wait and see. Yeah. Uh, that was that. I think the uh, the disorganization was something I didn't understand, too. Because yeah. mm-hmm. I thought, I was like, okay, you know, in government, these people, you know, yeah. full-time jobs, <laughs> they're supposed to be? The Absolutely chaos, not, chaos, right? So. Chaos. <laughs> the jungle, as one guy said, he said, welcome to the jungle, right? And you know the song. Yeah. And I didn't believe him, but I swear to God, that was it. And I would say the, the third really thing, the third thing is is the petty, right? Oh, right. oh man. <laughs> the, pe- the petty and the seniority. Yes. Okay. People People okay. really, really take that seniority thing seriously. Yeah, gotcha. I get mad. Um, you know, and I'm like, you know, I'm sitting here thinking I'm a, I'm like a one and done, ready to <laughs> give me the ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm you coming. Zion in, I'm Zion Williams. <laughs> I'm ready to come in and get right. <laughs> and uh, but you know, but they like, yeah, fella. sit down, young, sit down, fella. watch the game, <laughs> yeah. let the deep, you know, take let what the, the defense come, gives you. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 let the ball come to you. That's yeah, right. Yeah, let yeah. the ball come to you. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the thing that I think has been has been the the deal you got to deal with. On the other side, I would say the. Uh, the petty small things like uh, the Republicans got their um, committees a couple weeks before the Democrats. Yeah. yeah. The freshmen. Uh, they got five committees. We could only get four. Mm-hmm. Um, they wouldn't, you know, switch committees with us because they didn't want this person to switch with me for, you know, mm-hmm. I was trying to, I'm on redistricting. I wanted okay. to get on transportation. Right. Uh, and they were like, I said, well, these are the three names that I have. They were like, nah, we don't it want matter. It. it doesn't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. It doesn't matter what you want. You're on redistricting. You're not moving. <laughs> and so that's those are the things that I have found. It's like, okay, gotcha. <laughs> it was you a re- like, recognized game. A recognized game. game. Recognized a game recognized game. game. Exactly right. And I'll be around for a while. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. You, so you got me now, but talk that talk. That's right. Talk that talk <laughs> now. Talk that talk. Talk that talk now. But I got you. Hey, look. That's the equivalent of getting, you know, when somebody gets run the okay doke on a Saturday morning yeah. on the list yeah. you're like okay okay I got I'll you. be back next Saturday uh-huh. <laughs> that's right that's when, right when I come back next Saturday yeah. look, and then next day you come in you're like oh yeah I'm already here <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question your background's in biology yeah kind of two part thing 
what did you want to do with that? Oh, like, good and question. then how did you get to here? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> where, where did that train? How did that happen? So uh, when uh, so it so of course when I was in high school, like everybody else, you know, involved in leadership. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, went to Elizabeth City. I was a student body vice president there. Mm-hmm. Led, and that's sort of where I caught the original bug. Mm-hmm. I was um, in 2000. Bush v. Gore, which is dating me. Um, they had an HBC outreach program, mm. and I got tagged to lead voter registration and voter outreach. We killed it that year. Okay. I mean, we lost the election, but yeah. it was a really good experience. I was like, this is, I think I like this. Did we lose the election? No, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> well, actually, we did not. Popular vote. Popular vote. <laughs> that's right. Um, and then moved to Durham. And so my, um, you know, I said, you know what, I, in grad school, I wanted to uh, uh, get a PhD in biomedical science. Mm. Um Right. And then after that, uh, funny enough, I got into two PhD programs, one at NC State and one mm. at East Carolina. Um, okay. I think one was wow. biochem and the other one was like cell and development bi- biology. Mm-hmm. And the um, but, you know, by that time I had just decided that, you know, I don't know if that's sort of my route. Right. I went to Carolina mm-hmm. to do a post baccalaureate. Right? Go Heels. Yeah. Go Heels. And yeah. um, and, you know, when I was there, it just really felt like. <laughs> Had to throw it in there. <laughs> uh, it really felt like I needed to sort of do more. Um, but the impetus for getting reinvolved in 2001 is my 17 year old son, strappingly handsome, in case there's a cute girl out there that needs a boyfriend. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, plug your son. <laughs> that's right. Hey, got you. I'm a dad. I'm a dad. <laughs> and, and, he's probably like, we're the dad. Yeah. I, I, I got like, this. I got like, this. What are you doing? I got this, Pops. Don't worry. Okay. In, in 2001, he was a seven month old uh, kid. I just moved to Durham. His arm was broken in daycare. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And um and so it was probably one of the lowest parts of my life because I felt helpless and hopeless. I was a young dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um yes. didn't know where to turn. I just moved to this, you know, bigger city. And um and so I said I would never feel this way again. Um and so I got involved, right? And so that's when I just started showing up and all those yes, things started yes. happening. Right, right. Um and so as a part of it, as I realized not only was I getting involved, but I was in grad school, so I was gonna be fine. But the real deal is that I realized that other people feel this way all the time, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Is that other people feel this helpless and hopeless feeling. They don't know where to go or what to do. And I carry that with me now. Right. right? Yeah. And that's part of the reason that why I'm doing this stuff is because every time I speak up in a room that I'm not supposed to be in, mm-hmm. I'm giving voice to someone who doesn't have that's it. That's exactly right. And um and so especially for folks that look like us. Mm-hmm. And it's you know, that's really, really important. And so um, so yeah, so when I, I was at UNC and I just decided, that's when I decided to go into the classroom, right? Mm-hmm. Because I was like, I got into those programs, don't want to do this. Didn't necessarily seem like, um, this was going to be a long-term path. It wasn't going to fulfill me. I was at a point where I was like, Dr. Jekyll and hi, I'm Zach Hawkins. Right? I was <laughs> trying to live these two lives. Right. And so mm-hmm. I started down a path of trying to merge them. Mm-hmm. And so, um, so what really came out of it was, uh, that public service, um, mm really you know pushed me forward and so by day um and i talked about money before by day i raised money Mm -hmm. um because just like those students and just like those people that um, i met early on money became this overwhelming thing and i realized that if i could remove money from the situation you can allow people to maximize their god-given potential Mm -hmm. right and so by day i'm raising money so i can remove that um, potential for Tar Heels, right? Mm-hmm. Those Tar Heels that yeah. are coming, they're bright and mm-hmm. smart, mm-hmm. Uh, coming mm-hmm. over to this uh, southern slice of heaven mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> to uh, yeah, to, to their degree. And I, every dollar I raise, I can help make sure that they can go off and um, wow. and w- their dreams. And then and then in the legislature, uh-huh. you're doing almost that same thing, right? Mm-hmm. You're giving voice, but then you're also making sure uh, that people's priorities that generally wouldn't be priorities are at the table. Oh, so I'm, I'm really living my best life. <laughs> <laughs> living my same. best well, life. Hey, I know. Hey, we are rocking with Representative Zach Hawkins. And, and Representative Hawkins, last question. We'll, we'll let you get out here. So I, I always ask the question, uh, who who inspired you, uh, some of your mentors, and uh, what what motivates you as well? Yeah, so okay. uh, good question. Uh-huh. So um, first off, uh, my grandmother and grandfather mm. early on, Grandmother was on the school board for a short while in my hometown, Beaufort County, Chacawinity. <laughs> okay. Um, smallest town in North Carolina, probably. <laughs> okay. um, one stoplight, I graduated with 39 people. Wow. And um, it yeah, was. All are successful, I'm yeah. sure. No, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think the, um, uh, you know, seeing her example, like she just gave herself to service, mm-hmm. right? I mean, mm-hmm. I would never forget my grandfather used to say, Mary Hawkins, sit down somewhere. Because <laughs> she was just all, you know, just yeah, out giving yeah. herself and. It made a difference, um, and and so I think that those the the two of them together sort of were inspiring. And then 
after I moved to Durham, mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. man, you had African Americans <laughs> yes, in control. Man. You, yeah. you know, yeah. Bill yeah. Bell had just doing got work. elected. Doing work, and, man. Yeah, yeah, doing work, and yeah. then you start learning the legacy, yeah. and you're like, I have to be a be part, a part of, this. of this. Yeah. And then, as, of course, as you, you know, after you you meet uh, Representative Bashaw and yes. and the work that he's done, yes. it just inspires. You. Every time he gets honored, I get more inspired to do, mm-hmm. you know, to keep it going because you got a like you said, you got big shoes to yeah. fill, yeah. and you gotta you gotta go. You got oh, you can't yeah. can't waste time. You can't let grass grow under your feet. But yeah. uh, what keeps me going now is all the things I talked about, right? Yeah. My, of course, my family, my beautiful wife Tracy, and my mm-hmm. three boys, um, and uh, forget and about then, Sophie. Yep, Sophie. Sophie, <laughs> yeah. Sophie's been holding us down for 10 years, man. So who yeah. is Sophie? I had, uh, my golden retriever. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I, had, I had to tell this joke the other day. I was like, no, that's my real dog. Black people do have golden retrievers. They ain't always be pits. They all got to be pits and rock rock. You know what I'm saying? I was like, hey, no, I, this lady asked. This lady asked me. Are you she serious? said, "Is that your real dog or a campaign prop?" I that said, so, dog. "Sophie been holding us down for ten years. That's oh, my wow. dog." They gonna let Rock Wilder back there tonight. Where's the pit bull at? Where right. the pit bull at? Where the chain at? Sophie probably said, "That is awesome." I know you ain't trying to play me. <laughs> right. I've been in this game for a minute. I've been in the game. You better right. act like you know. We gonna fly by night. We definitely. Wanted to uh, uh, give you the opportunity to be recognized. Yes, man. thank you. Early, I really, I really appreciate early in this it, process yeah. for what you for what you were doing and actually wanted to be involved in this yeah. process. And I'm sure, maybe you you know what? If you can win it twice, you'll probably be the first person to ever get it twice. <laughs> <laughs> so he go back to back like the Lakers he, he back in the back, day. He go back to back. <laughs> Showtime, Showtime <laughs> Lakers. We just can't let Sophie vote. On <laughs> <laughs> that lady who asked me to yeah. Hey man, Zach, we appreciate you no, coming. Thank by. you Hang so much. Man. I really hey, appreciate the time. Keep on doing what you're doing, bro. Absolutely.